Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at ChatGPT and compare it against Siri on Apple Intelligence or on iOS 26 and see which one is a better one for you. Now, there's a couple things to keep in mind. One, ChatGPT is basically its full-on own application and it's cross-platform. Siri on iOS 26 is not cross-platform. It's available on Mac and iPads, but it's not really available as like a different type of application. Also, I haven't been able to find a way to basically get it to show me the history of the prompts that I've asked it, but ChatGPT does give me that opportunity. So I'm going to ask it some very basic questions, not anything super crazy, but I do like the layout of both. I think Apple Intel, like Siri looks pretty nice like this, but ChatGPT again is, is its own application. There's also no paid tier of Siri where there are more paid versions of ChatGPT. Now I'm going to ask it a very basic question and you'll see exactly what I'm asking. What is the biggest company in the world? What is the biggest company in the world? So the first one already messed up a little bit. You can see right here, this one is giving me this type of you know situation, which tells me it's Walmart, whereas ChatGPT gives me a list of different you know kind of options and different things here. Now, one thing that I don't really like that much about Apple Intelligence is that it's more conversational, or with Siri, it's more conversational. So it doesn't let you stop it from listening to you. Like it's listening to you all the time. So if I go back, right, this is a full list. Uh, you know, Siri just kind of went away after I was done with it, which I it was still talking, right? So if I invoke it again, let's go and try it again. And let's go more kind of conversational based. Let's go and try it again. What is the capital of Mongolia? So for some reason, ChatGPT didn't want to hear it or didn't want to listen to me or whatever. But you can see, at least within here on Apple Intelligence and Siri, look at how much of a faster type of layout that was. That was so much faster on Apple on, on Siri over ChatGPT, right? Also, you have to remember, if you're using ChatGPT within an iPhone, ChatGPT isn't really going to be able to do as many internal iPhone tasks as, you know, Siri. Siri can go through and set a reminder here or do X, Y, and Z. You know, uh, you know, ChatGPT doesn't really give us that type of capability, which is a little bit of a downside for ChatGPT, at least on iPhones. Let me go and try a different one. Let me go and say, who was Albert Einstein? So again, with Apple and with Siri, pretty decent, right? Again, another prompt here. If I go and click up here again, you can see if I want to, I can just kind of keep it going. If I double tap the bottom, like that's the thing about Siri. It just doesn't give me the capability of kind of going through and keeping that prompt there. It just kind of goes away. Even when I double tap it from the bottom, it will always stay there. Now, if I kind of do it this way, who is Albert Einstein? Let's go and try it this way. Who is Albert Einstein? And I'm just curious to see if it does end up staying there when I'm kind of done with it, right? It's like you only ask it one prompt at a time and then it's kind of done. So if I go and click on send, you can see when I do it this way, it's actually more appropriate. When I voice it out, it's not necessarily the best way of kind of getting something done. Now you can see right here between both prompts, you get an image and then you get kind of the prompt itself. And it's just an excerpt basically from Wikipedia. So it's not anything like super unique here. Whereas on the ChatGPT side, this one is basically giving me all this information here. And I will say Apple, with, with Siri, I like the UI of, you know, Siri kind of more this way, but with ChatGPT, it's a little bit more, I guess, f you know, featureful. It's not, it doesn't feel like it's just linking me out or, you know, telling me to kind of go to a different type of page. With ChatGPT, it seems like it's more so kind of going through and it's like giving me information that I don't even have to go to a different page. Now I can always go through and like choose a different, you know, I can see the sources and everything like that where the source material is. But I feel like with Siri, it's always telling me, like linking me to a different page, whereas ChatGPT is giving me all the information right up front. So that right there's another thing, but I think both of them do look pretty good, right? If I'm looking at both, look, Siri looks pretty decent and I can still kind of talk to Siri this way. So when I'm talking to Siri this way, it's actually a little nicer, I feel like, but I will tell you from my personal opinion, I like both of them. I do think ChatGPT having its full own application that's cross-platform that allows me to like bring in images and all these other things, 
I think ChatGPT is way more useful and it's just more powerful overall. I feel like Siri is good and I like the integration of typing to Siri and all that stuff. And it's definitely gotten better on iOS 26 in some ways. But at the same time, I feel like Apple could be doing a better job at making Siri like a dedicated application that's available more so than just how it is now, right? Like being on a website and being on all these other things and making it more like a chat bot almost and like a personal assistant, kind of like ChatGPT. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Solon.